From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hello there, and welcome to the latest Ropecast. Or today, I should probably say Rojocast, <laughs> because instead of Peter, I welcome as my guest today, John. Hello, John. Hello there, Roger. Good to see you. You as well. Oh, I am so sick of this filling in forms. Filling in. Yeah. Filling in you're filling in forms. Oh, I why am, you, yeah. why are you doing that? Oh, we well, all have to do this, don't we? Filling in. Uh we fill out forms, Roger. Oh, yes, right. Isn't that strange? In and out, they sound like opposites. Yeah, they do. They do. But in fact, with us, we tend to the act of completion, uh, we we add to things. So, filling out the form for us is to complete the form. Ah, yes. Do you have any other words like that? Well, yes, we do. In the States, of course, you know, we love credit cards. <laughs> and so when when we uh, have used up the limit on our credit cards, we call it maxing out. In other words, I've maxed out my credit card. Wow. I've never heard that. Oh, it's a beauty. We're we're good at that. We're world class in that category. <laughs> Coming back to the forms though, filling in, I think that's logical because you're putting something into the little box on the form. Mhm. Mm that's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So we we do I mean it's per makes perfect sense, but of course, sense and logic are not something that we in the states necessarily uh, ascribe to. So <laughs> we're keeping that in mind. Okay, on that subject, it amazed me to discover that you when you say a certain phrase mean the exact opposite of what we as British people mm -hmm. mean. In the House of Commons, that is in the British Parliament, if we table a motion that means we're suggesting something for immediate debate or discussion that's interesting that's fascinating that's completely opposite from what we do in the US Congress the House of Representatives when we table something we table a motion that means we're taking it off the table we're removing it from consideration yeah. so it's the exact opposite for us it's a rejection of an idea rather than an embrace yeah there are lots of these differences, though, aren't there, in the way Americans use the language and the way the British do, or absolutely even, even other countries. Yeah. What about the word "coach"? What does that mean to you? Uh, off the top of my head, uh, the coach is the, the the trainer for a baseball team, for example, like a baseball coach or someone who helps you improve a skill might right. be a coach. What about transport? Transport. Uh, I, you've stumped me there, Roger. Would you ever use a coach? To get from A to B? Well, yes, if he was helping me improve my speech. <laughs> okay. Coming back to my training analogy. Uh, but otherwise, uh, no. I, fill me in. Oh, or fill me out. Well, <laughs> for long distance travel, travel between cities, you can go by train, you can go by car, you can go by coach. Oh, right. Coach. Uh, but this is four wheels we're talking about. <laughs> yes, right. Uh, well, I think in the States, in the U.S., we would call that a bus. Right which, as I understand it, has a Latin derivative. Yeah, it's a strange word, isn't it? Bus is really just an ending from the Latin word omnibus. But that would be typical American because we tend to like to shorten words anyway to get as quickly as possible from point A to point B, including meaning. So what you would call perhaps an omnibus or coming from the Latin omnibus, we have simply shortened to bus right. um, for a means of locomotion or movement. Uh, involving a number of people sitting in one vehicle yeah. or a bus. You know, this is such a fascinating topic. I think we should come back to it another time. I'm completely on your side on that one. Okay, John, thank you for being here. All right, thank you, Roger. Bye. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. I can see, John, it's going to take a while to teach you real English. What, real English? You mean American English, right? Not at all.